I often get emails from different people talking about their uh, bad performance when it comes to clips that are processed through Fusion and then are brought back onto the edit page. And this is for both the free version of DaVinci Resolve as well as the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. Um, and as you can see here, if I take this clip that has a Fusion clip, it obviously has a bunch of stuff in Fusion. Once we get up to the uh, clip itself, it starts to chug a little bit. And then as we go through here, it's just 12 frames per second until we get back to the actual uh, raw clip itself. I know that on the Blackmagic forums, there were posts about this and a couple of representatives from Blackmagic did state that this is an issue that they know about and that they are uh, working to remedy the issue. So for now, there's a quick workaround that you can do for these clips that you're having an issue that you wanna get smooth playback for. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to playback and then we're going to go to render cache and we're gonna turn this to smart. Once we're in smart, we know that this is the area that we're currently having the issue. We're going to come up to the effects library and we're going to go into titles and text, just the normal text, not text plus just the normal text. We're going to grab that. We're going to drop it down here and we're just going to have it hover over the area because it's a text node and it has some stuff here. We're just going to come over to video and we're going to turn it all the way down. So that there's no opacity. So that, that particular uh, layer isn't going to do anything. Once that's done, it's going to cache everything for us real quick. Once that's done caching, now if we play this back, we have the whole 30 frames or whatever your frame rate is all the way through. It's very bizarre, but it is a workaround for now. Um, if you know of any other workarounds that, you know, remedy this current problem, throw them my way, and I'll also provide that information to the rest of the community. With that being said, my name's JR, and thanks for watching.